Hello, everyone. I wanted to record a short lecture. This is a useful tool that we'll be using in our computer architecture and organization as we're starting to get an idea of how to deal with um, digital logic and having a uh, simulator. So this is a, a project that's available on GitHub. And so basically, um, if you just type in digital logic sim, and um, H. Neiman is the author of this, if you just click on that, you'll come to this website. And I have this link in our lecture material. And then if you, once you're here, if you just click on download the, the zip, this is the file that you would be using. And I'll come back to that in a second. So. Um, they do a nice job of giving you an introduction on the, the GitHub site. And so you can get a chance to see what it looks like in the, the, the Java application that they've developed. And so this is some information that I think you'll find that is useful. Um, their list of the features, the documentation, et cetera. So what I'm gonna focus on here is just let's some um, start working with this app. So like I said, if you just download the, the zip and then I'll just switch over to a um, local directory where I have that. And so you, you have this zip, if you unzip it, then you have a jar file. And so you might wanna remember that a jar is a compiled Java program. And so I'm running this in Mac OS. And so there's a similar way of how this would work in a PC. But if I just right click and then open it with a Java launcher, this will actually launch the application. And so um, the, you see the, the startup menu, and then it gives a, a nice little um, look at um, how it works. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, um, this is a circuit that is actually in Coomer or textbook. And um, since I have this up, I'll just quickly run through this. And so sorry about maybe going at this backwards, but I'll, we'll build a circuit from scratch, but I'll, I'm just gonna run the execute. And so what I have here is I have um, several logic gates that are described in Coomer. There's a, an inverter, there's a, a NOR gate and a NAND gate and another inverter. We have a couple of light emitting diodes. That this is what these are are meant to, to show. And so, and we have this output that is a scope that will show you how this logic works. And so these are inputs and these are switches. And so if I was to, let's, let's um, use an example that we have all of the inputs as being a logic one. And so you can see that when you click it, it, it turns on and, it, and this is what you saw that popped up here is this logic display. And so now that I have them all on, we can see A, B, and C, and then the output is here. And so I can click them on and off. And so here, if I click this off as an inverter, it turns the LED on here. Um, if I turn this one off, um, you, you can see some interesting logic that we'll go over a little bit more in class. Um, so right now, we're not seeing much of a change in terms of the, the output. Um, so, but let's, let's try this now. So if um, now you can see that there's a change in the input and the output. And so there is a, a lookup table of what this, this digital logic um, relates to. And we'll get, get to that a little bit later. So this is just giving you a rough idea of what it looks like to, to be doing um, this type of application with this um, simulator. So let's go ahead and do a, a new um, simulation. And so I'm just gonna use a couple um, simple gates. And so let's start with the components. And so let's start with an AND gate. And so, and then I'll have, also have an OR gate. And so these are some things, if you're not familiar with what these mean, um, we will start to go over that over, over time in class. And let me just kind of let you just watch me um, putting this information in here and you can start to, to see um, it's relatively easy to be putting in this logic. And so, um, first, I'm putting in the, the inputs, 
and then I'll put in an, an output. Um, and then the way you just put in a wire is this literally, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. These are, these are not outputs, those are, I mean, those are outputs rather than inputs. So let me put the inputs. So you have an input there. And the neat thing that it does is once you've done it once, it puts it into a recently used file um, access over here. And then you can easily just um, go ahead and, and, and do that. So the way that you put in a wire is just literally if you click, it's, it's really easy to just be um, wiring these things up. And so here I'm just showing you an example of going from the inputs um, to the, the logic gates. And here is I'll just connect this here, try and make it line up, and then finally going to the output. And so now I've created a logic uh, with two inputs that are and together so that this would give a logic one if the both of the inputs are one and this is an or gate so it can either be either or. So now I'll just do the put it into execution mode. And so the only way I get a positive output here is that both of the inputs are high. And you can see with a, an OR gate, it's either OR will give a, a logic one coming out. And so as long as there's one input that is giving a, a, a logic one, then this will turn on. So at this point, it doesn't matter what this other input does. But if I turn one of these things off, um, let me see, I just turn this one on. And if, if, only, if one of those on, it's this, this will not be positive will not give a logic one. And so then this gives you a chance to see what this other input will do. So I'm not really getting into the um, an overview of what this logic means. We'll get into that a little bit later, but I'm just trying to give you an impression of how this simulator works. So hopefully this quick overview is helpful. So just as a reminder, if you we will have this link given to you in class, but here is a link of how you can get to this. Um, um, Neiman is the, the, the writer of, of this, and it, it will. this is um, the link that you would get if you put into a search engine. This is what it looks like. Um, you can read over here, and there's also documentation that you can download, um, installation instructions, and I'm trying to just give you a little bit of a sense of how that works. You download the zip file, and once you have that, you just execute the jar with a right click on um, on Mac OS, and you just open it with the the Java launcher. And I showed you it in operation, and I showed you a pre can circuit, and then we just um, quickly generated one real time. So hopefully that's helpful. Thank you very much.